I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on sine and cosine law application. A ship sails from A on a bearing of 0 0.55 degrees for 10 kilometers, then changes direction to B to a bearing of 120 degrees for 12 kilometers to reach the port C. Find the distance and the bearing of C from A. Let's try to sketch this diagram. Let's say that is our north, right? So always we'll go with respect to north whenever we are talking about bearing angle. 0, 055 is clockwise from north, right? So what we have here is 55, 0, 055 from north means kind of like this, right? So that could be bearing from north of 0, 055. That means this angle is 55 degrees and now let us say that this distance is 10 kilometers now what really happens at this point is that after 10 kilometers the direction changes at B so this point is A for us so at this point the direction changes so let us say what is the change in direction at a bearing of 120 so 120 will mean more than 90, 30 degrees more. So let us say kind of like this, right? So that becomes uh, 120 degrees. So this angle from here will be 120 degrees, okay? And the ship moves in this direction for 12 kilometers. So this is 12 kilometers and reaches the point C, right? So that is point C for us. So let me write down the point C as so we have A starting point, this is B turning point and C is where it terminates. So ultimately the distance between A to C, so let's take this further down a bit so that yes, kind of, let me have some angle here, okay. So that is how the situation could be. So this is the point C for us. Find the distance and the bearing of C from A. So we need to find A, C, this distance and the bearing of angle that means from north how much is that angle so that is your question now you can pause the video answer this particular question now let's try to figure out how to answer such a question now from north these two lines are parallel right so both are north so this angle is 55 then this transverse line will give you angle here as 55 also correct so what we have is that this angle should be 55 degrees okay how about that angle so this is 90 120 is 90 plus 30 so this is 90 minus 30 so that should be 60 degrees correct so 120 180 minus 120 you can say so in this particular triangle we know two sides and the angle included. So that means we can apply the cosine law, right? To find AC. So whenever we have two sides with included angle, cosine law can be applied. So we get AC, so we can write down AC square is equals to square of these two to be added. So we get 10 square plus 12 square minus two times 10 times 12 times cosine of angle between them which is 60 plus 55 right so it is angle is 5 and 6 and 5 11 so 115 degrees so that is AC square so let's use calculator and find this answer so we get 10 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 10 times 12 times cos of 115 right so that is equal to 382 point let me write down here 328.52 so that is AC square so AC is going to be square root of this number which is 328.52 so let's do square root of this so we have square root of our answer and that is equal to 18.125 so 18 point let us say 13 correct so we have 18.13 and the units are kilometers 
So we get AC as 18.13 kilometers, right? All units are in kilometers, correct? So we know the distance between the two points. Now the idea is to get the angle. To find the angle, so let us first find the this angle. We can use sine law to find the total angle and then we can find from the north by adding that angle. So let us say angle A, right? So let's apply the sine law now. So we have sine of angle A divided by side opposite which is 12 should be equal to we know this angle and side right ratio so sine of the angle which is 115 divided by the side which is 18 point so it is better to take uh, four decimal places 1 2 5 2 2 okay so that is what we have so from here we can find sine a so sine a is equal to 12 divided by 18.125 times sine of 115 degrees right so let's calculate so we have 12 divided by our answer and then we'll multiply this by sine of 115 so we times sine of 115 so what we get here is 0 0.6 right so 0 0.6 is is the sine a value so let us find what a is so angle a is equals to sine inverse of 0 0.6 and that should be equal to let's find this so we have second function sine inverse of our answer within bracket equals to so we get 36.87 degrees so this angle is 36.87 degrees now to give the bearing from a we have to add 55 degrees to this right so so we can write down our answer that is the bearing angle is at C is 55 degrees plus what we got that is 36 point let us say 9 right so that is the answer so we'll add 55 degrees plus 36.9 to get our answer which is approximately 91.9 so 91.9 degrees is the bearing angle of C from A so that is how you should be answering this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.